Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here for Pop Turnative, speaking to David Elsendorn from Ted Lasso on Apple TV Plus. Welcome to the show, man. Thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for the invite, man. Great to be here. Thank it's an, it, it's exciting. I mean, I know it was a crazy time for you finding out you got the role and shooting it and doing all the soccer, the football scenes and everything. But what was the reaction like when you were finally able to announce and tell everyone that you were going to be in Ted Lasso? Well, that, that well, I mean, I was like, I was so, so excited to, to share the news. So I was like, it was all that time that I was on set, I really felt like oh, I want to share it with the world. And I was really excited <laughs> I, to, to do it. And yeah, so when I finally got to, to share it, it was like, yeah, crazy, really nice. Also good to just to, to, to get to share it after we shot it, because then you feel more, more confident and you know what, what you've been shooting. And yeah, it was a good uh, moment. To absolutely. Now, I do have to ask before we get into your character, Yamas and everything, but what was your... Um, relationship or connection with football before Ted Lasso? Like, what was the, did you play growing up? Were you a fan? Like, what was that like for David Elzendorn? Uh, well, I, I always played uh, with my friends and yeah. on, on the pitch and on uh, and during theater school, we had like a big theater school tournaments. So that was a big thing where we always trained for. And I mean, I love watching it. I love watching the clubs. I uh, love watching Ajax with my friends. Uh, which is the club I support myself, and yeah, but I've never been been playing like professionally in uh, in like a football actual football team. But I always love playing. It. Yeah, is it amazing to see that the the reception for your character has been so good right now? I see on social media. I mean, people love Jan Mas. He doesn't know how to read a room properly. He's kind of all over the place. Like the reception has been pretty cool so far. Mm, yeah, absolutely. They've been giving him a uh, young mass some some great uh, character traits, and I'm really grateful for that. So yeah. So what was the mindset like when you were talking to Jason Brennan and everyone when you got like the role, right? And maybe they were talking to you. Was it kind of like, yeah, he's the a Dutch football player who is adapting to the new world, who is a bit says things that he doesn't mean. Like, is that basically what it was? Um, yeah, well, what the, what what they liked about the part, and because they live in in Amsterdam themselves, and they're a big fan of Dutch culture as well, what was like the 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 thing was that they were were on a on a search to find out what Dutch honesty is like. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're very honest. Yeah. Be, yeah, they tend to be very honest about things, and that sometimes that can hurt, and sometimes it's very direct. So. Yeah, that's that's uh, yeah, that can be perceived in in different ways, and they they love that for Jan as a character as well. So that was kind of the the, the search for for the character. But yeah, stepping on the set was like really like a dream to me because I just saw the first season and I traveled to London. Like I heard I heard that I got the part, and four days later I was in London, and so it was a very turbulent and great time. And I mean turbulent in a, in a good sentence, like yeah, positive positive way so it was like really stepping into into a dream like stepping into the locker room seeing my character's name on one of the lockers it was amazing amazing feeling does it still blow your mind that you're in such a like a show that has so many layers in terms of in one regard it's a show about a football team but in the other regard it's like not about football and it's about relationships and life like that i always thought that was a really cool concept with ted lasso because you don't have to be a football fan or a sports fan to like the show Mm, no, absolutely, fully agree. Yeah, it's a great metaphor. Like you can you can use wins and loses and ties for for everything as a metaphor for everything. That's great about sports in general. But yeah, I love that about the show as well. It's it's just brilliantly brilliantly done. Yeah. Every Friday an episode gets released on Apple TV Plus. Recently, the Christmas episode was released, and just like such an amazing episode. I feel like people are gonna watch that around the holiday season. They're going to go back to season two of Ted Lasso and rewatch it. Jan Ma shows up so. with the potluck, brings brings ch fried chicken. <laughs> um, I just wanted to know very quickly, that just seemed like a really, really special episode to shoot. What was that like, shooting that episode? Well, first of all, like reading that episode was like 
it, it made me like, <laughs> I saw every scene that was written on the page so clearly. And it was such a, such a funny, genuine, funny, funny episode to read. And yeah, because it's like they, 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 uh, only had 10 episodes to, uh, to do, to, to shoot, but then Apple uh, asked if they could do 12 episodes. So, yeah. and so the Christmas episode, uh, as the last episode was one of those episodes that they got to film on top of it. And, okay. uh, oh no, not, not the last one, but beard, uh, a later, a later episode. So it was really like they, they took that as a free, uh, a carte blanche to just go free with it. And, and yeah, it was of course a bit weird to shoot, to shoot it in March with like fake snow, but it was, it was great. We all got like the morning I, I, we, we went to the studio. I was just listening to Christmas songs. <laughs> to get into the mood. It, was, it was great atmosphere. Yeah. Moving it was, it, it, yeah, it was, it was amazing. Um, there's more Jan Moss moments to come. Uh, there's some, 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 uh, some fun stuff. Um, when people watch the show, because I always, like I said, I've, I've interviewed a lot of your cast members. Um, I'm always curious to see what each cast member says because it might be different. But when they watch Ted Lasso, like, what do you hope they get out of it, like, takeaway wise, the most? Like, is there something you hope they get out of it after they watch it over other things? Like, it's a fun show. Yeah, it's a very I'm warm show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very heartfelt. Yeah, absolutely. No, I just, I just feel like, I hope that they, um, the, like the little thing, this, the little things described in the show, like the real human, like the, the, sometimes you can create a ripple effect and you see, and you think like this wouldn't really make a difference because it's just, it's just, just a small thing, you know, just like, like complimenting someone, for example. And I think like, that's something Ted Lasso really shows like the, the little, the little things like magic can be in little things and. Yeah, that's well. That's one of of the many things <laughs> I hope they they take away from it. But but yeah, I I'm just so happy that people love it and it's just resonating and yeah. If we dive into it a little bit more deep, I mean the whole storyline, like the the sports component of it. If we dive deep into it about Richmond getting relegated and everything, that's a really interesting thing that they've done especially with like in the beginning of the second season where you are always draw like there's always draws like you're tying you're not winning games and everything because you know a lot of people would think you know they got relegated they're going to like a lower they're used they're playing in the higher division they get relegated there'd be a powerhouse they'd be amazing but that's obviously not the case because it's a whole different world that richmond has to adapt to it's a very interesting concept as well yeah absolutely yeah it is have you thought about that a little bit too when you're reading the script that like these players are in a pretty tough spot in terms of people are just going to assume, oh, they're going to get relegated, go down there, Daddy Rojas is going to score all the goals and then they just go back. But like, it's not, it's not, it's not clear cut like that. And I think the show does a really good job um, showing that. What do you think about that kind of aspect of the show? The underdog, like they're the underdog. They're still the underdog. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Yeah, I think that's just the, the sweet spot of, of learning things. Like sometimes you can be like um, humiliated by experiences. And I think <laughs> FC Richmond gets humiliated quite, quite, uh, quite a bit in, on the field uh, sometimes uh, also on this season. And yeah, well, I think that's I think that's what what Ted's trying to um, accomplish with the team as well. So I think that's just the spot where, where you learn a lot and where you I also like how how the pandemic showed that we are in this together like yeah. that's also what the, the league shows the team that they're in this together so, so they're not they're not losing individually they're losing together so that that's really bringing them together so i think dramatically that's the most I interesting choice and that's where the most human behavior uh well uh comes from it's it's not, it's obviously, you know, you talk to a lot of people and they'll tell you that when they get to a set, it's not a guarantee that the people that they've worked with, they're going to be lifelong friends. It seems to be the case for Ted Lasso, where a lot of you guys are pretty close. So you're smiling right now because it's like, we know, we both know a lot of the guys and it's just a really fun group, but it's like, it, it kind of probably just happened, right? Like maybe you had an idea that you were going to kind of keep in touch with everyone, but like. Did you think you guys were going to get this close? I mean, the group seems pretty close. 
Yeah, that, well, I mean, we are, are, yeah, absolutely. I think partially because not everyone is from, uh, or most of the people, well, no, not most, but just a lot of people are not from London. So yeah. they're new, like me, I'm new there. So I don't really have friends uh, necessarily that much in London. So yeah, you're bound to to stick together. And it's just because the, the, the set is su such an amazing atmosphere and people are so good at what they're doing so dedicated that you just yeah form a bond re real quickly and you just become like brothers and yeah it feels start to feel like family that's yeah. amazing it's an amazing experience what i'm really grateful for before we wrap up i just want to talk about you know sam obisanya played by tohi Jumo, two-time guest on the show um you watched season one um, not you were not on the show. You were watching season one, and Sam's there, and you see a little bit of the growth. But so far, what they have done with Sam this season has just been amazing and incredible. What's that like? Kind of finally seeing it play back after you obviously read the script, you know what's happening, right? But then you you watch the episodes and see them out. I mean, it's amazing what the the arc for Sam will be signing this season. Yeah, no, no, I fully agree. Yeah, it was it was really surprising. When reading, uh, reading what happened happened to him, yeah, yeah. I mean, with the tape, with the the sponsorship, and everything is just incredible. Um, does it still hit you sometimes? Like, because it's it's weird. Like, you know what it's like. You know what's happening, right? But then you might want rewatch a clip or anything, and you're just like, maybe it's almost like you didn't do it, right? Like, does that ever happen to you too? Like, is it that that's a weird thing, right? Like, you go and you shoot it. So you know what happens, but then it's a whole different experience actually watching it again, right? Yeah, it is. I mean, um, it's funnily enough, it, it does constantly ring a bell because it was it's, it is like again so brilliantly written that you see the scenes when you're reading it. Yeah. But so you have like this bell ringing of recognition, but then it's so so different than you than you pictured it still. So it's um, no, it's 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 great. It's great to see, and it's very very surprising because it's even better as you as you pictured it like yeah absolutely david thank you so much for coming on pop turnitive i really enjoyed uh, chatting you. with you man yeah likewise bro likewise fully enjoyed it so yeah. right now they can uh they can catch you on moss in season two of ted lasso on apple tv plus every week an episode's dropping it's something to look forward to right like like every oh, friday <laughs> yeah 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 on the one hand, it's like, oh my god, just one episode uh, a week. But then the other hand, you just feel like it's it's the moment where you're looking forward to. It's like uh, medicine. <laughs> Absolutely. And where can people follow you on social media to keep up to date with everything? Instagram is probably the best way to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, Instagram. It's just my name at David Elsendorn. And on uh, uh, yeah, Twitter. I'm not. I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be more uh, active on Twitter. But uh, yeah, I also have a Twitter account. Same. Down Amazing. Down Elsendorf. Elsendorf. Amazing. Well, this has been Pop Turner, youtube.com slash Pop Turner for previous episodes. Until next time, this is David Elsendor, who plays Jan Moss in Ted Lasso on Apple TV Plus and PD Beats, signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Pop Turnative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.